Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to talk about some, uh, some NBA. I'm, I'm gonna talk about the Warriors. I'm gonna do my official, um, 2023-2024 season uh, preview here. Um, going this year. So, let's get into it. So, some key additions we've had in the offseason. Uh, Chris Paul, obviously, in the Jordan Poole trade. Chris Paul's actually looked pretty solid this uh, preseason. I'm not gonna lie. He's looked pretty uh, good uh, next to Steph Curry. And he's kind of like a mini Draymond Green, and I say that because he's a really great passer, just like Draymond Green. So, when Draymond's healthy, it's like we're gonna have two, like, point guards on the floor. That can, uh, they're real, real, both really good passers. And they can feed the ball to Curry, Clay, uh, Wiggins at times. Uh, Kaminga as well, he's looked really good in the preseason. I feel he's gonna take that next step this year, coming off the bench. But hopefully he gets a lot more playing time. And he can be a key contributor in the postseason for us. So, though Chris Paul or Key Dish in the offseason looked pretty pretty good in the preseason. Uh, Kamingas took a really good step forward. But let's get into this year. So, last year didn't go our way. Uh, the 2022-23 season, it was chaotic, just t- to say the least. Um, from the practice incident between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole, and just the record on the road, Steph Curry missing 26 games, we just never found our footing it last year. Uh, some personnel changes in the offseason seem geared toward not only improving the locker room dynamic for, for us, but also solving an issue that it's like haunted this team for the last two years. It, it's been the non-Curry minutes. Um, it's just when Curry goes off the floor, our offense doesn't facilitate as well. Maybe since we've got Chris Paul, the offense can be good enough to where it's not as bad with the non-Curry minutes, and it's at least above average with Chris Paul running the offense when Curry's on the bench. It's like when, we, when he was on the floor last season, we were, out, we were outscored by 2.1 points per 100 possessions. And their offensive rating 113, 113 points, they're ranked in the 35th percentile. It sees, those figures are much better than the season prior when they had a 109.4 offensive rating without Curry, but it's still a large issue for our team. And after to fix that problem, we shipped off Jordan Poole, brought in Chris Paul from Phoenix. Uh, as of now, he's been somewhat, I don't know, like, cantankerous when it comes to his new role this team, but bringing off the bench is the best option at times. He can be a starter, play a few minutes, go up to the bench while Curry's playing. Curry plays most of the first quarter. The first few minutes of the second, you can bring in Chris Paul, and then bring in Curry, so Chris Paul on the bench. I think that's the simple option. But the highest average score from last season on the bench right now, outside of Paul, is Kaminga. He averaged 9.9 points per game. He's not been like a shot creator, but Paul Chris Paul would give us a shot creator among most players who would thrive with the floor general. And it would also limit a massive size issue starting Paul would manifest. But, I don't know, Kamini's kind of been creating a shot this year. He's, been, he's actually shooting like 40-something percent from three in the preseason, so he's starting to have some being able to shoot the ball pretty consistent. Um, another key thing this year is going to be rebounding. Uh, the Warriors really struggled with rebounding last year. Really outside Colony, they they really struggled rebounding the basketball. Hopefully they can figure that out this year to where they're not giving teams multiple possessions. Because we were 14th in overall rebounding rate last year, 50.2%. And starting Chris Paul would likely mean benching uh, maybe, I don't know. Dream of Green might not even play the first game because he, he rolled his ankle in like a scrimmage. So, I don't know. Our son would probably be like Paul, Chris Paul, Curry, uh, Clay, Wiggins, Looney, if Dream on Green has played the first game. And and while these, this can be an effective small ball lineup, throwing that starting five would present challenges on the glass for us. But I don't think they would bench Kevon Looney. But once Draymond gets back, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see what our starting lineup looks like. But, there's some questions, though, regarding the offense production of the backups. I mean, I think Moses Moody's shown some flashes, but he's only averaged 12 minutes a game. But they should play him more, the young guys, some of the young guys more, to give them some opportunities off the bench. But I think Kamanga and Modi can be some of our future pieces uh, of this team. 
Gary Payton II is a great defender, and he runs the floor really well. He's not the best three-point shooter. That's, you don't ask Gary Payton II to be a three-point shooter. You just ask him, just, you know, play, play his normal game. Defense, cut to the rim, make the right plays. And he can shoot, he's good. I mean, he shoots corner three really well, so if they can leave him open, he can nail him. The reality, I want to talk about this season. You, you get the idea of what I talked about. I went over some of the preseason, the additions we got in the offseason. Uh, Dario Sarge was another one I didn't mention. He's been pretty solid this preseason, a great three-point shooter, which the Warriors always managed to get a good three-point shooter. But I think this team's going to be good this year. I think we're going to make the playoffs. I don't know about going far, but I think we'll make the playoffs. It's just, we just have to see the first game of the year how we look. But you get the idea of what I'm talking about. So the reality is this season is all about what the bench can do for us because you still have the trio and Curry, Curry, Thompson, and Green is still among the best in the league. And when Curry, Curry improved the Warriors net rating by 8.6 points per 100 possessions on the four last season. He posted the third best marks of his in his career in both points per 100 shot attempts and points per game, which is like 29. And the Warriors most used lineup with him on the four ranked in the 92nd percent time on net rating and average 128.5 20, points per 100 possessions. And people that are still concerned about Clay Thompson, and people are saying, oh, he's on the decline. He shot 38.3% from the floor and 38, 36.8 um, from beyond the arc in the postseason. Like, while, well, yes, he was bad in the postseason, but he was good playing the regular season. He shot 41% uh, on threes on 10.6 per game. And... I'm not concerned with Clay Thompson. He'll he'll be fine. And Green is still one of the best defenders in the NBA. And and when he was on the floor, we allowed 9.8 fewer possession points per 100 possessions. And he still is just an effective as facilitating this offense. He's still a great uh, facilitator for our team. And, he, and he's ranked in the 98th percentile his position in assist rate 26.7. And his presence on the floor improved our offensive rating. Like he improves our offensive rating are passing, and our defense. When Draymond's on the floor, our defense just isn't that good. And like those three long when you know, have Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Lodi, form one of the best starting lives in the NBA. And as long as they can play this team, we will be able to try and get that fifth, that fifth uh, Larry O'Brien trophy. Um, I really think we can have a chance at it this year. Because I mentioned that starting lineup. You have Curry, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, um, Looney, if that's if, when Draymond gets back, maybe you could do that lineup. And statistically, when we had that starting lineup last year, it was one of the best in the league. And um, so, I think they should roll with that starting lineup, have Chris Paul come off the bench, but we'll see what happens when Draymond gets back. He's, I don't know, he might not play the first game. But we have the six hardest schedule this year. Uh, we play six games with a rest advantage. Uh, but nine will take place where they are at disadvantage. Um, I'm going to say we'll make the playoffs this year. I don't know how good we'll be, honestly. But, yeah, I'm going to say we'll make the playoffs. I'm not going to say, oh, we're going we're gonna to win the Western Conference. We're going to win the NBA. We're going we're gonna to win the NBA Finals. No. I just want to give my rundown of the team, my thoughts in this season going into the year with, you know, getting Chris Paul. Um, how he's looked in the preseason so far. Kaminga, I think he's going to take that next step up. And just going over a team in general. But I think we'll make the playoffs. I think we'll be, I don't think we'll be the top seed. I think we'll be somewhere between like the four to six range. So yeah, and we also got that in-season tournament this year, which will be pretty fun to watch. But I'm going to mention that more in the NBA season preview. So um, yeah, it's all really on for this. So until next time, I have a lot. Peace.